starting to come out. By the way, guys, we are now live on YouTube. Uh, we're just going to stand. You're going to do the thing. Oh, there you go. So you can take it around and show folks, or uh, you can just move it as necessary. I'm going to get it set up so I can see comments. We're going to do about 20 minutes of live video. Oh, nice. All right. Why don't you talk to people, ask them about their process and what they want it to look like. Or all, stand to just stay quiet the whole time. All those things Alan just said. Yeah. Christine, Larry, John C., Michelle Schulte. Hi, all. I'm getting, I'm getting there. We're getting there. I, I've jumped the gun. I, t I took over. Yeah. I've got the camera. All right. It's the stand show it's now. It's the stand show now. Hi, I'm Alan Hops. And welcome to Krampus Lab. So explain for everybody who's watching what your concept is for for your Krampus. Well, it's Krampus. It's going to be more of an Arctic, snow, icy look. And I'm working on the second coat right now. And tell everybody who you are. Brandon Marshall. Where'd you come from? Arlington. Ah, so ah, it's a short drive, no plane ride. That's okay. That's cool. Say hi to everybody, all of our creepers. Hang on one second. Yeah, do you say hi? Hi, everybody. And then I'm, I have to say some hi's real quick. I have to say hello. Hugo, Kenzo Reese, Christine Salvati, Larry Hughes, John C. Michelle Schulte, Lockton, Thorne, Jamie Thaxon, John Lau, Giselle Perrin, Ryan Demon, Big Dog Mass, Lucky 2001, Stanley S., Hugo Pertialette, Dusty Dennings, Ronette Harvey, hello. And Chad Smith, Jekyll and Hyde Creations, DM Cash. There we go. All right. I've now said hi to everybody, and we are caught up. Now, go do the paces with the Kim. All right. Hi, Kim. Hey, everybody. Kim Dad here. I'm going for a silver Krampus. Okay. Can you show everybody your reference? <laughs> Bring it a little closer. Okay. A little closer. A little more. Nice. So what layer what layer of paint are you on right now? I'm on two. Okay, and what are you going to do next? That's a really good question. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Alan, Alan's going to help you. I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dale. Hi, Dale. This is my Krampus creation, and I was thinking something frostbitten. Okay. Um, someone who's been out in the snow too long. So there's a lot of blue, there's a lot of hypothermia going on. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of where I am. That's really good. What else are you going to do with it? Uh, again, interesting question. I, I want to try and do something for these frostbitten eyebrows here, and I'm not sure what. And I want to see something about making these teeth here pop. I'm not sure if I want to go white or something just gray and rotten and and putrid for the teeth. And you're going to go with hair and horns a little bit later? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, at least, yeah. yeah, horns. Yeah, and, and maybe some, some hair down here, something that's kind of some matted lamb with chops. snow. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to see how the hair looks, though, before I commit to it. Very nice. Look, at, look here we go. Say out of the creepers. What's up, y'all? I'm Ryan. This is another frostbitten. <laughs> Uh, Krampus. Uh, I think he's just about done with like the base layer stuff, so I'm gonna add some like nasty sores or something with airbrushing okay. later. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna do the horns and some LED lights. I see horns and LEDs. Nice. What color LED lights? Yeah. Red. Okay. <laughs> all right. I get, yeah, we'll have to see. I we'll used to, to see. offer like 20 different colors of LEDs for eyes. Green and red, right? Ninety-nine percent. They're like red, 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 red. 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 I'm like I'm just gonna buy red lights. Now. Blue would be good though. So it's yes. For the for the ice promises, I do think blue is kind of good. Mm -hmm. Is it Krampus or Krampi? It's Krampus. Krampus. Yeah. More than one. Is. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Like I'm Leanna. Um, so word. my Krampus so uses a lack is more of a weathered. A he's pot. old. Mm -hmm. He's got some weathered Krampus skin. A, mm -hmm. um, I'm starting with more of a flesh Does tone and putting browns and reds. As far as um, yeah, 
eventually he's going to have red. Okay. Red hot. Are you doing horns? Yes. Let's see, let's see the horns. Oh, those are so cool. Bad boy horn. That's awesome. Thank you. And I'm just stippling different colors on to get uh, just a little more. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Black Craft. Visual craziness happening. And now I'm going to go do the blue because I can't leave well enough alone. Uh, yes, there are many talented people here. Yes, Airbrush Lab went well. So we are, we are working on it. And I have a really tattered brush so that I'm not putting on big blocks of color. It goes on kind of as dots. And I'm using all of these colors kind of visually blend together. Big Dog uh, says, uh, loves the mask you're working on, Alan. Yeah, yeah, this is a great sculpt. It took me a long time. Actually, Big Dog sculpted this. <laughs> yeah, this is one that Big Dog did for my line. I conned him into it. I told him I needed a screaming orc. He's like, yes, I'll do an orc. He was thinking World of Warcraft orc because nerd. Um, and then I only said screaming orc because that is what a promise without horns and balls looks like. But yeah, see, all these colors are going to kind of lose their own individual identity and pick up kind of a universal color here. Blackcraft27 says, these look awesome, guys. Great job. Al Matra Art says, hello. Hello. Line Cook Thor says, looking awesome guys and gals. Christine Salvati says, thanks for the help with the pumpkin mold, Alan. I'm very excited to start that. Uh, happy to help. Uh, I'll probably be doing mine this week, in all honesty. Um, because if someone is inspired to mold a pumpkin the same way, they can only buy them for a little while longer. Misty Jazirski says, howdy all. Looks uh, good, everyone. Christopher Lazzotti says, good evening. Big Dog Mask says, nerd. Nerd. Is that a question mark? Or just, just nerd? It has an asterisk next to it. I don't know. I don't okay. Know. Yeah. So it means a certain flavor of nerd. Not the everyday run of the mill nerd. Oh, I see it. Okay. Earlier he said, thanks, no need here. It was a typo. It should have said nerd. Aha. Aha. That was probably one of the biggest fights that me and Ian got into at Dark Hour. What's that? Just saying a lot because <laughs> I kept saying sculpt an orc, and I'm thinking Lord of the Rings orc. He's thinking World of Warcraft orc, and they're very different creatures. Right. And I'm like, what are you doing? Just like get these tusks out of his mouth. Give him more <laughs> skin texture. What are you doing? Yeah. Mike Murphy says hello. Hello. And it, it took a while before we could line Meet up. Meet in the middle. Well, like, oh, yeah, I'm talking about this, and you're talking about that. But there's, like, monsters that I have had defined in my head for so long, as far as, like, what they are. Like, in all of my youth, I never would have thought anybody would have thought that vampires sparkled. <laughs> but yeah. now, that's some people's version and go-to of a vampire. So it has a little bit of sparkle in it. Literally. Gene Sanford says, howdy, y'all. Hello. Carrie Ann Olson here. says, hi. Blackcraft says, Lord of the Rings orc is my favorite. Um, I like their grittiness, and they kind of define the monsters of that decade. Um, that sort of no-nose type style that the uh, cave troll and the Moria orcs had, that really left lasting impressions on a lot of creatures in that time period. Says, can there be a close up? It's kind of blurry. Zoom in. This is a paint squash. It just it's blurry on camera. That's what happens. Oops. Lift up the. 
And it looks yeah. like there's like 20 colors on this, but. Right. Well, it looks like one, but there's really. Like 20 colors on that. Yeah. And I think I'm losing my blue. I'm gonna go back in with some blues and just dab it. Mike is saying the video is bad. Okay. Well, we're not gonna be on long, so I cannot speed up the internet. Happy great looking air night. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. I have seen the TV show Grim. Yes. Mike Murphy wants to know if you guys are going to paint the horns to hide the seams. We're going to dremel the seams, and then we're going to paint the horns. So, yes, Mike. Close up. Calabos, Krampus. While it's not a, like, dreary rainy day, it's a very moist day. So the paint is taking a little while to dry. I like the flesh you've got built up while I'm going. I feel like it's too one color. Well, once again, just like with uh, airbrush, step back. Look at your stuff from like 10 feet away, 15 feet away every now and then. Because you're not going to see it if you're right up close to it. Uh, all of the viewers' first impressions are going to be from this distance. And the way that our brains and eyes work, once it has told us what that is and what color it is, your eye doesn't work any harder than that. So honestly, that first impression of color, that's what they're going to get. So that's, this is the biggest distance and the most important because their brain is going to do an electrical shortcut so that they don't have to remember what the color looks like up close. It took this snapshot and says that's enough, we're good. Only if they're looking at it with like the eye of an artist or something where they're really getting in there and examining, is it, that, that's why TVs work. There's only three colors of light coming out of a TV, but you see hundreds. Because your brain is cheating. I wanna show you all those dots. Uh, it is a little monochromatic. I do see some of the darker color in the background, but uh, you might even hit a lighter color put it over top of it and make sure it's dry or else it'll wet blend. And wet blending tends to look muddy on something this big. Brains are cool. Uh, I do like a lot of the monsters in Grimm. I think that they did something budget-wise that they did for the reason of budget, where every single type of monster is a bipedal humanoid. You know, I'm a griffin, so I'm a guy with a beak and on my feet. And yeah, I so saw I, I like more monsters. I wish they could have had a bigger budget to be able to do some creatures that weren't just bipedal. That'd be nice. I am very brainy today issue with the internet. I'm happy with this guy though. I'm going to start painting his guns in. Ooh, blue brush. Angelus Lucifer, great name, says, I think melted candles on the horns would be great. Uh, I have done that. I have done that on other masks. Big Dog asks for you to post a photo when you're done, Alan. I will. You will. will. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Okay, 
paint my gums. Stacy Hawkins says, hello. Hello, Stacy Hawkins. Hello, hey, Stacy. Say hi to Stacy. Hey, baby. I sent you a message. Old man mode activate. Ken says, uh, Ken Zuri says the one mask looks like it could be a sand crumpus. Oh, because he's, well, well, so what's funny is, no matter how we paint Calibus, he looks dry. Mm -hmm. No matter what I do to him. Um, and I think a lot of that is just the styling, because Calibos was like a desert dweller in uh, Clash of the Titans. And I think he looks nice for his environment. And I think that's kind of a subtext of what people are seeing with him when they look at him. So Simon Wallsgrove says, hi guys, great work. What would you recommend sealing a paint job with on latex? Uh, we're gonna use um, Liquitex, high gloss, or matte varnish. Liquitex varnish. Yeah, it's, take, it's taken a little while to dry. It, to, to me, it's a little warm in here. Is anybody else warm? I'm comfortable, so you guys are probably melting. Right, so that's why I'm not busting out heat guns, because five of us using heat guns in here would Make warm more them up significantly. She hasn't taken her hoodie on, so I'm full. Okay. That's how we're made, so, so you're supposed to fight. How are you liking it? I actually don't mind statuary look. Okay. <laughs> Gravestones are not uncool to me. So now I got to Yeah, but you're going to pop that with silver too, aren't you? Yeah, that was my next question. How do are we you dry? There? I think so, yeah. Okay. Here, let me find out. Yes. That was scientific. Oh, sorry, Stan. <laughs> it works with heat guns. <laughs> oh, look, there's like silver in front of my face. Don't spray anything directly on the mask because the accelerant in here mm -hmm. is bad for the latex. Mm -hmm. But if you Ooh. spray it onto the table, all that off gases, yeah. and then you have nice paint that you could dry brush onto your face. Mike Murphy wants to know if you're going to be doing a different live later tonight. Uh, I will probably not. I will not be going live later tonight because I will be whooped, which is Texan for tired. Uh, we started uh, lab today at 9 a.m. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll be going 10 solid hours today. At least I don't think so. It's possible. Let's okay. never say never. How's that sound? What do you think Shannon will say when you ask her? She'll say I shouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say you should rest. Put on. When there's a whip, there's a way. Candy says hi from Arkansas. I didn't say your last name, so I know I'll get it wrong. Candy Yamez. James. Yamez. I want to go with James. I'm going to go with Yamez. Then we probably are, uh, might both be wrong. Candy, is Yamez a correct pronunciation? You pronounce the J like it's a Y. I have a lot. I'm friends with a lot of folks from Puerto Rico on my Facebook, and when they post ha 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 ha, it's J A J A J A. -A, -J -A. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I interpret it. Yeah. So hello, East Los Yoga Warrior. Great name. That's that's a great name. That's a great name. Uh, hello from Los Angeles. <laughs> Hello, Glenn McCain. All right, I am letting my gums dry. You know, I'm going to get a little more red on them. Let them pop a little more. So Candy says, ha, 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 with H's. It's pronounced James. Just plain old oh. James with fun letters. Where is that from? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's, yeah. Who wrote that? That's Fancy James. Yeah. Yeah. 
candy with a K. That's all sorts of fancy name stuff going on. You and your spelling and words. There was that one interview I watched in. Oh, yes, yes, sir, big dog, sir. Hold on. <laughs> Just get closer, Stan. You want to lower the camera some so they can see face, not forehead? Nah, Just like a... Because that's like fancy camera. Girl taking a selfie. Take a picture of their foreheads because that they think that's their best angle. That's fancy. You know, camera. right. <laughs> I was at the parking lot the other day at, at the grocery store in the corner. There we go. There's and, some not uh, so fancy camera. And there was a teenage person in the front passenger seat. Taking foreheads. Taking foreheads. Yeah. 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 Y
What do I know? Very nice. Yeah, there's nothing in my hair at all today, so it's a little loose and crazy. Well, this is stabby, hurdy. Oh, that there. Did you trim this mask up? Yes. You don't want people to breathe? I thought it was a tongue hanging out. I thought it was an aesthetic oh, thing for a while. Some, it's got some nose holes. You should be fine. Most mask companies actually say. Like, there's holes in the nose. There's like holes in the nose, holes in the ears. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Now, the mouth design, the way that he sculpted it, mm -hmm. it's actually really great. He's got these deep little nubs that you just cut off, but you have a paintable middle in there, which is nice. Instant air. I need a little bit of pad on this eye. But yeah, that feels good. Yeah. yeah it moves. I like it. Cool. Angie Rogers says, I've been using your saying for Tut Works uh, at work, and they keep looking at me like, what the heck? A Knox on a Moon! <laughs> a Knox on a Moon is from The Mummy. Yes. Two, right? Two? Part Maybe one? Here it's from both of them. It's from both. Like, from Brendan Fraser was so cool. He's still cool. He is very cool, but he can't clap. Can't what? Clap. Yeah. You like it's a thing? I don't clap so good either. I have, I have all the rhythm you'd expect with a white white man. <laughs> Maybe less. No, this is less. <laughs> you drying? That's it, guys. We're hanging out watching paint dry. We are literally watching the paint dry. Uh, if you could start dremeling your horns right now. Have you used the Dremel before? Just Poison Sumac says it's beginning to look uh, like Krampus everywhere you look. Very right. awesome. At least in this room. Mike says, Alan, I bet you would wear a mask all the time. Uh, it would be a marked improvement. I think that'll work fine. Let's find out together. It'll be fine. Ah, start the back scene. That way if you mess up, it's way less apparent. The back, the back of the horn. That way, it's way less apparent if you mess it up. And you can refine your technique on the back that no one will see, and then you move to the front once you got it down. Shadow Jim says, hi, Alan. Hello, Shadow Jim 81. Jim Lindenholm. Jim doesn't say the full name, but I think you're worth it, Shadow Jim 81. Yeah, I need better comebacks. I got nothing. That's it. That was it. We're back to film school. Mm-hmm. Come back. Come. Better? Yeah. You can breathe. Oh yeah, I can breathe. Oh. Gonna hang out like this all day. Pretty much. Yeah. I got a big fake axe in the other room. Yeah, you do. You got like that 
Yeah. Yeah. A double sided uh, axe. Big yeah. plastic axe. Yeah. That yeah. would keep people in line. Lisa says, what themes or colors are folks using tonight? So we have, well, we got, we got this. It's a flesh color made of all of the colors. All of the colors. And we have icy, frostbitey goodness. Perfect. Got some silvery, chromy. That looks cool. Cramp is going here. Your gums, then I paint your gums. We have some frostbite, tundra, Seahawks green. <laughs> no, it looks really cool. It's really cool again. Thank you. Did you have a YouTube name that you watch Filthy Thunder and you would tell the camera that? I don't know if you do. Ah. And over here we have another Krampus with some uh, some frostbite and putting Let's in some details and gonna get some gums now. Lovely. You might be having people are saying it's blurry. You can't fix the internet. Can't fix the fa the YouTube. How's it working? Good. Working good. Light touch. I would feel like a purple or a magenta tone. I don't put on a lot. Like put on a little bit, like like here. Not that much on. Okay, so we're we're getting there. And there are more people in the shop, and they probably all have phones that are on Wi-Fi that may be bogging us down a little bit. So this is what you got. This is it? Back when I did YouTube for your grandparents, they had to watch it uphill both ways <laughs> on a potato. So you'd be happy about your blurry phone. In the snow. Right. Brandon in Marshall says hi. Anthony Pantano says in the snow. In the snow, correct. In the snow. While uphill both ways. It does look kind of fish eye look. Yeah, it's a, spin the camera around and try it the other way. Yeah, I don't know how to do all that. Like that? Yeah. Oh, now hey. it's done. I saw a spot, I wanted a face, I got paint, and then I lost a spot. Dale, for a colorblind person, you have a very impressive boldness of color. Well, all colorblind in red green, which is why I had to go through Kim's at the district. Well, she didn't lie to you, so that's good. This time, I, I would, if I knew someone who was like really colorblind, I would mess with them until they hated me. I know I would. Yeah, all the time. I don't. But you do admit you do it sometimes. <laughs> it's funny. Usually when it involves a flash. How's that working for taking off your flash? Great. Okay. Do you remember what kind of bit this is? Because it's really fine. It's a just a fine stone bit. These are the horns I'll be using on that one. I think these guys are kind of fun. Hugo says, congratulations on the event. Greetings. Hi, Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Anthony says his uncle can't see red. Oh. Cool. Yeah. That means he never gets mad. I have more problems with green. Red sometimes, green most of the time. 
freaking thing. Hello, Maddie Doyle. Hello. Scissoring off the flash off of my board. To be a little more aware of where the camera is. And you hear a dremel in the background. Because someone is, or someone is dremeling flash off their horn. And everybody here is from Texas, right? Well, this is an all Texas flash now. Yes. 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 So this is um, these types of horns. I believe these are from Elope, E L O P E. And you put Elope horns in eBay, and a lot of different horn styles will pop up. That's where all of mine come from. I buy a lot of horns, so I get them at a wholesale price. So, yeah. But these are about 20 bucks a pair, per se. Hello, Melissa Young. Uh, I will eventually make a dragon mask. I, I get a lot of requests for dragon masks. I haven't done a dragon in a while. I think it was two marches ago, I did some dragon suits for Dark Hour. Those were fun. They were also like pretty quick builds. Apparently yeah, that fixed our fisheye problem. Yeah, it's because I don't ever use the front face. I use the rear-facing camera normally. I don't use the front-facing camera. Because I need to see what I'm doing. And I have like 15 Dremels, so more than one person. Do I need an LED next? Uh, yes. But go ahead and pull the fur off your horse first. Stan, would you move the camera over here? Angie Rogers says, I got my paint. It came in a gold box brand called Flash. Very bright, carrot green color. Cool. Uh, Melissa Young says, evening all. Hope y'all are having a good weekend. We are. Yeah. Shadow Jim 81 says, thank you for what you said about his name. Oh, no problem. Macho Sancho. Uh, okay, that's talking about. Carrie Ann Olson says, out of curiosity, what are you guys doing to stay safe during the pandemic? Okay, so as safe as we can, uh, we took temperatures on the way in. The class size is limited. There's no more than 10 people in here at a time. All of the workstations are six feet apart. Aside from my same household couple, they're the closest together because they're in the corner. But they're married and stuff. Um, I have three air scrubbers going in the room with a three micron filter and a one micron filter. And that's about it. Uh, to be safer, I would have to cancel the class. So, there you go. Jacqueline Hyde says, uh, any ideas on how to do a skeleton chest for a headless horseman? Um, so, when you say skeleton chest, you mean rib cage or a skeleton to hold up your costume over your head because you're headless? Shadow Jim 81 says M A U YouTube 2. M A what? Yeah. I don't want to paraphrase, I got in trouble last time. M A 1 U 222? 
Matt Doyle says, my state has been in total lockdown, not allowed to enter bordering states and no city access. What, what state are you in? Because we're in Texas. It's pretty bad here, but we're also, we're in Hunt County, Texas. We're not in like Dallas County or, see, Dallas has it pretty bad and so does El Paso. El Paso. El Paso has If you look at all of Texas, El Paso is the worst. Yeah. So, Where do you want these? Because I know not to throw things away. But that's also 18 hours away from us because Texas is stupid big. Throw it away, Sam. Right in the garbage. Shadow Jim 81 says Wisconsin. Macho Sancho says, what are your thoughts on horror games? Horror. Horror games. <laughs> horror vein? Game. Game. Oh, uh, I like them. I, I don't play a lot of video games, but I... I like that they exist, and their design is killer. Matt Doyle is in Victoria, Australia. Yeah, okay. Uh, Lisa Aaron says, off topic, are the snowmen finished? We'd love to see the finished product. Uh, snowmen are not quite finished yet, but they're closer. Uh, I'll work on them tomorrow evening. Rib cage. Jekyll says rib cage. Okay. Um, if you don't want to sculpt and mold it, then I would actually use Loctite foam. I would uh, kind of do a, like a crumpled paper basic shape form, and then I would put plastic over top of that, like garbage bag plastic. Then I would spray out your rib cage in Loctite foam, like my skeleton in the can video, let that cure and harden, and pop it off. I have dremeled. If anyone needs a dremel, I have another one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Texas, well, our part of Texas is actually in, uh, we're in phase three of reopening. I don't think we're going to hit phase four anytime soon, I'll be honest with you, because Texas as a whole isn't doing amazing. Uh, but I am in Hunt County, Texas, which is, we in the country. So, yes, uh, like drive 35 minutes for groceries in the country. That's sure. how in the country I am. But right down the road from the Buckies. What is it outside today, like 80? Yeah. It's about 80. This is a pretty long video for a live, you got to admit. Like normally I don't do videos this long on live videos. Well, during when we have labs, but these guys all seem pretty agreeable. Only Dale is like a jerk, but yeah, I, yeah. He is like a jerk, but I'm just grumpy in general. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are going to be good horns. Your spirit animal is actually. This crop is just like lightning. <laughs> a little bit of thunder. A little bit of lightning. Grumpy dwarf too. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, look at that. You set it out and we're going to use it and stuff. Crazy, right? So, would painting cover up this line there, or does that need to be dremeled down as well? It, it won't cover it. Yeah. Okay. Extent says, not on all, you still need to dremel it. Okay. So, so the like. Yeah, they're these horns are pretty darn different. 
So, and we use Fahrenheit. So when I say 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I have no idea what that is Celsius because I am a ghastly American. Uh, Alexa, what is 80 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? Twenty twenty seven point six. Is that what she said? Twenty six point seven. I asked. She told me, and I just still didn't listen or understand. <laughs> this it sounds is, really cool. That's my school career, by the way. I asked. They tell me. I don't understand. Okay. Is there another Grimmel out? Yeah. Right over there. By Stan. Oh. Okay. Hey, Stan, that might be a work. What's that? Which? Thank you. Okay. A nice shirt. You mean my shirt for Still Be Studios? Uh, so this is this is one of the Teespring shirts. We have a Teespring. Uh, if you look at the YouTube channel, there's a Teespring. It's a Teespring link. It's, it says by Teespring. Go to the channel page, and up in the banner, there's a couple different buttons up there, and one of them is the link to our Teespring store where we sell Silky Studios merchandise. It, says, it sounds fancier if you say it that way. Mm. Things that are fancy are more desirable. And I'm going to paint these more in black, but first, I'm going to attack it. Are you waiting for a finish? Uh, no, I'm just wondering. Um, there, there's a drawer over there, and there's a drawer on the other side, I think. Oh, okay. The drawer that says Dremels. It's chock full of them. Is there an actual black mixed up? Okay. This is black. Mm -hmm. Yes, it goes on a little gray. When yeah. it dries, it darkens. Uh, right. uh, I don't think it's the dirty camera lens. It's actually the light. When you guys are up there by the light, things look like they get hazy, but it's, I think it's just the light. See, if that cleans it up, yeah. It's, it's, I'll go clean the lens, though, since you asked nice. I feel like I'm doing something now. Uh, put on your horn first. Uh, the filters, the air filters are actually amazing. Um, we had eight people all airbrushing black in here today, and we really didn't have any issues with it fogging up from airbrush fog. I did not make these horns. These horns I purchased from Elope. Elope. The camera that I'm using is my cell phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy 10. S10e something. I'm very excited to hair this guy up. And I'm also excited to airbrush him. Well, it, the camera only goes so high. You see, it's on a tripod. There you go. There, maybe that will help you. You can't say I'm not agreeable. I try. What, what stage of your process are you in? Well, I don't know, what more does it need besides horns? You should probably glue your horns off. Where should I put them? Where do you want to put them? Tell you what, you get back over there. Get like 10 feet away. I'll take your horns and I'll run you through some horn poses. These are horns. Alright, these are two horns. You have this option, which is almost minotaurish and a little weird. 
Uh, it's like temple horns. I'm not a huge fan of temple horns most of the time. Unless the creature's really tall. So, uh, if the horns are up here and swept behind your back, he looks faster. Yeah, it's better. You could swept back. Or you can do the horns right. in the same spot, switch them. And then it's like he's trying to get your attention. Because he's like, hey. Yeah, just like that. Um, really, I would say this way, a little more aggressive. That's kind of nice. I like that. This says, I don't walk anywhere where there's a camel net ceiling. Because yep. Krampus horns pointing forward and a camel net ceiling are just a terrible idea. Yep. Camel net ceiling, you point those horns as far back as you can. Then yep. you can go straight. You can also cut your horn this way, like cut it at a hard angle right here, and then lay them down this way, which also looks good. So, you have lots of options. What did you like best? The spicy horn. This way? Yeah. Hey. Oh. Okay, there you go. There you go. And now you know. Horn placement is important. Like, it's not a minor decision. Yeah, I can't tell you how many actors I had to pull out of the camo net. Back up. Yes, they, because the horns are meant to go forward through yeah. the camo net. And they got to turn around and go through it the other way. You're right. So they didn't turn their back on guests. That's also good. Ooh, I broke my head for them. There we go. Because it put blue on the is it only on those in there. Okay. Also, Dremel the end of your horn so it's nice and flat. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I mean, I just realized that you're using power tools. I'm not sure if I feel safe now. I beg your pardon. That's very good thinking that a crawfish couldn't come down the chimney if uh, his horns are out to the side. I like I like your uh, multi-dimensional thinking. These these stands are from Harbor Freight. They're just pipe clamps. Uh, you want to look at it, and when it stops being glossy. It depends on the weather, how long it takes. So, probably 15 minutes is perfectly fine, but I give it at least 10. Sounds like a horde of angry bees in here. There's three animals going on. Murder horn. Wiring LEDs. I'm gonna leave the camera with you. I have to go spray paint my horn black. 
Is, is Big Dog still watching? If he leaves? Uh, Big Dog is still on. So Big Dog would appreciate my uh, mask LED lighting skills because he never lets me forget about the police trampus. The police trampus. One year ago, when we had the police trampus. So, the police trampus? Okay, I'm going to tell the story. What happened was... What happened was, this is one of the very first times Alan, like, kind of left me in the shop. Ooh. I hadn't been here that really that long. And he's like, hey, I gotta leave for a little while, finish these, these compass masks for orders. And I was so excited, and I've been doing wiring all day, and I, I had it down, and I was like just rolling through, right? And I hooked everything up, and I've been really careful, except my very last one, I started to feel a little confident, and the clock was ticking. And I said, I've been doing these all day, this is awesome. And the customer wanted red LEDs. Um, so I looked, and all the LEDs looked, just like this. That's all you get yeah. until you wire them up. You know, and the package had said red, so I just grabbed a bunch of them and I came outside and I hooked it all up and it's ready to ship and the hair is teased and it looks amazing. And I plugged the battery in and one light was red and one eye was blue. <laughs> Sorry, and there was no way that I could uh, not get it fixed before Alan came back and there were some people here and they were leaving, and he came in and he saw it, and he ran outside, I kid you not, he ran outside and told everyone to stop their cars and come back inside to see what I had done. It was horrible. But what we're going to do, now that we know what we're doing, and we don't take a lot of the same chances, the, uh, what we're going to do, so this is a 9 volt battery, and uh, these are our LEDs. So before I do anything, I'm testing them out to make sure they work, and I'm testing it out to make sure they're the right color. So I'm learning, y'all. So these are red LED. This is a red. This is also a red LED. So now that I know they work and I know my battery's good, what we're going to do is I'm going to get the hot glue gun ready and I'm going to get some uh, some cables. And how this works is, yeah, I'm just grabbing people's masks like I work with. So in these masks, there are some sockets pre-set up in here. So what we're going to do... Yeah, that works ...is the LEDs go right here in these sockets, and I can hot glue them into place, and then I'll take this wire, and I'll punch a hole, and I'll run it on the outside here. And we'll run it on the outside, and it will have another wire that will attach to the 9-volt battery so you can turn it on and off. So that's going to be the next step. We, you're going to go with red. There's also orange. There's some, blue. There's blue. You want to try blue? All right. Yeah. Blue makes sense. So... Tell a story. Come over here and tell a story while I go get the blue LEDs. Going a different type of flesh yeah, that's how it works here. When one of us gotta leave, somebody gotta step in. Tell a story. That's when you just gotta put the camera on on Alan. I would attach them and then we'll dry brush them when they're on. Okay. Have you been being the cameraman? I suppose. There you go. <laughs> Both both pieces, right? Both sides. Yes, contact them in on both sides, let it dry, then when you put them together they stay. If I wanted to uh this a little bit. Angle cut it. So uh dremel, right? Use dremel. I just use scissors. Don't make it hard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Hey, wife. Yeah. Can you help out with comments? Yeah. Get to work, wife. You've been slacking all day. She hasn't been slacking at all. She made lunch and she does a lot of the you know, this around. Is I think we're going on the way. We have another situation. I'll just dry brush the horns. I spray painted them because they're foam, so spray paint's fine on them. Um, I gotta go turn my airbrush compressor on. Bella, Boris, and Cheney. Uh, so Bella is this little girl over here who's getting scratches. And then uh, Boris just woke up and he's uh, attacking Bella because she's getting scratches. And then Cheney is over here by Mama getting scratches. You can see what their pattern is. There you go. Bella, Boris, and Cheney. We could do it if you didn't need a hood or something like the top of the hood or the other. Otherwise, you can see a wire running down. Right. So, with something like this, you can actually run down. Okay, and you have to talk about the top of the hood. You can see it down. 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 You I haven't decided yet. Probably brown. Thank you. 
Uh, only uh, Texas Krampus parades. I haven't gone to any uh, outside of the country. Yet. What's that? Well, that's very kind. This is a little bit chaotic because there's a lot going on. And I don't normally do lives from uh, camps or labs. Camps are right out, but labs, I think, uh, this is not different from what I do on a normal evening. There's just a lot of us doing it right now. Oh, hello, UK David Carter. Yeah, so with these three spots. did Monster Camp in January.
This is this is just crazy Allen here. I have super like I've always had very thin, fine hair. So my hair just flops around if I don't put something in. Normally my hair has gel in it and I just slick it back. But it's a little crazy today. Is on that same circuit now. Remember, I moved the air compressor around. cement this into it. So instead of it having a half mass, it's going to have a full-on skeleton inside of it so that when we run our electronics, we can glue it there. And if you want to add hair later or use a hoodie or something like that, it's going to give it a lot more structure and it's going to make it a lot more fun. So that's what we're working on now. And I'm heating this up because if you didn't see it earlier, uh, these look like old school football helmets. They look like bullet heads. And they're, they're not really, on paper, they're supposed to fit a human. Uh, realistically, if you're uh, any larger than a small child, they're kind of stuck. I got a big melon. So I was explaining what we're doing is, what? What now? No, I had a, so, a can of Coke. Is it an extra large Bucky's coffee cup? Yeah. Oh, it, it was. It came out of the See? See? Lisa, look at my socks this time. They're thieves. They're killing you. They will take care of you. They were at the Brittany Garden Brittany Green. 
So I'm heating this up, and the reason I'm doing that is so we can push this down, really get it to firm. And uh, I don't want it to get so hot that it melts the glue that's holding it together. But I need to get it warm enough where when I push it down and I hold it there, it's going to actually cool down the stuff. Uh, what we did in the back of this, so we can pull on, is we cut the back of it out. So this is pretty warm. So I'm really shoving down on it. And I'm really making sure that it's spreading out as much as we can. I think so. I get latex from a uh, Vinnie Mold Supply, and that's what most of my paint is made from. Um, one could argue that you could get Black Lagoon Supply Company latex and thin it with ammonia or distilled water and just have more latex for the same price. So honestly, just thin it with distilled water before you mix it with paint to the consistency you need it to be. So there. Yeah. Uh, who are you painting? Yeah, I am spray painting about No one has asked about Stan. So I said 7 to 10, so I'm going to get it this way. paint doesn't eat through these. He is rocking around. Very much. Spray paint doesn't eat through these. No, I think it's Miami Vice. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes? <laughs> he said spray paint doesn't eat through this type of color. No, it doesn't. I know. So I'm still trying to understand how all of that works. Isn't it the propellant that eats through some types of foam? Yes. Okay. So you hold it back far enough. And you missed it on, if you don't have a problem. Okay. But as far as this goes, it's fine. What's that? You don't have to, really you don't have to mess it. No. What's okay. what? what do I do? Why? Did the camera fall down? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I don't I don't know what happened. Uh, how did that happen? How'd that happen? How'd we end up on Stan's socks? I don't know. My apologies, audience. You guys didn't want to know about Stan's socks. Here you did. Those are the real questions. I think the pool, I, I haven't seen a lot of skull promises. It would be nice to see one. Yeah. Yeah. So the way Krampus Lab works is yes. I give them it was like eight or ten different blanks they could pick. And then they picked their blanks, so I had them poured up and ready. They were based out in black, and they were strapped and ready to go. So all that was ready when they got here. And then they're painting it, they're wiring it, they're doing all that. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello, Buffalo, New York. What is your temperature like there right now? I know I'm going to mess up and think this is like Tang or something. It looks very Tangish. Once I put the airbrush in it, and then I put the about it, I thought my hand was 38. 38? Wow. I hate temperatures that start with three. Um, yes, but it's just going to be less comfortable. Uh, so it's going to be harder. And normally you have to put it up in the brow in order to have enough room to do the wiring. Because an LED is kind of long as far as the back end of it sticking out where the resistor is. And you can't bend that bit where the resistor is or else it's a problem. 
Never mind, we've got to cut these off, right? You can cut them off. Can yes. I need, um, 16 in Tennessee. Major Rogers. <laughs> Those are mine, aren't they? What's wrong? Gold beauty. Isn't that very Are you sure? I, yeah, you're still have a stick yeah, on this. So I took it off. And, uh, the they look exactly so like that. Uh, we have quite a mesquite. Okay. You can have them. There's I got a whole drawer full of them over there. No, I thought I said okay. one there. I took them off. No, I'm pretty You're sure I took mine off there. there. Okay. I don't oh, think maybe. I'm going to go. There's two screws there and two there. Oh, you, don't yes. know, you don't know what your glasses look like? I only had them for like, not even a week. <laughs> Wait a minute. They look like his, but they don't have a sticker on the lens. I took my sticker off because everybody said I had a sticker on my lens. Oh my Here, just wear these and I'll get another one out of the drawer full of glasses. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, these are mine. Are yours? Uh, those are Stan's. Those are mine. And that's actually prescription? Yeah. <laughs> Check with Mike. Everyone's dream to live with Alan and Lisa. One dot. I have superior dots. <laughs> okay, well, I cleaned them. You're welcome. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Tried to steal my glasses. And then he couldn't oh. see, because they're my glasses. How am I supposed to get this on with glasses? That's a U-bomb. Uh, cut the back. Oh, hey. Give me some scissors, please. Now, FX man, my wife loves the dogs. They are very entertaining. Uh, they are lovely doggos. Happening Mojo. So the normal latex paint recipe is equal parts casting latex, distilled water, and interior frosting. How do you water down the black lagoon? I would, I would water down your black lagoon until it's like regular casting latex, which is roughly, let's say. Buttermilk consistency. Buttermilk. Sockets for LEDs, so they get LEDs. Alan, how are your horns being done? Looks like thin sheets and sheets. I, I purchased lovely horns already made because they're awesome. And they saved me a ton of work. Okay, so I need the LED on my head before I horn up? Or is there an order? Your LEDs next, yes. Hey Stan, can you head to Kim Dot and help out with LEDs? We're going to let this dry. Yeah, let's give it some time. Okay, so I'm going to go with the orange. Okay. EVA that I use is probably 3 8 because I make a lot of like base helmets and stuff out of the 3 8 And then I have other stuff I use half inch for, and like the uh, Grave Digger hats and the Snowman hats are 5 millimeter foam. I did not mean to sound bad when I said that. Well, you better listen. Oh, we can. 
Miss Jacqueline Hyde. Um, she's saying I need a prince for a year if I was given a chance, although I'm working as my father now. Prince Now I feel kind of like it. That's awesome. Come on. That's awesome. Yeah, if you show up here, I'm going to put you to work. That's how it goes. Nobody gets a free ride. Yeah, Brian and Megan, you have been put to work. You have been a shop Poor guy. Slap the tools out of their hand. Hello, weird kid. What were you the mouth of the Fuck 1980s. Yeah. I'm still remembering the human sympathy lab. Yeah. I thought we'd be in front of the line on that one. You're gross, 1980. You're gross. Uh, I would, if I had to be in, in that line, I would want to be in the front of the line. Yeah. That was pretty funny, actually. That was That's pretty so good. Terrible. That was funny. Like that was like a good double on con joke. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I really like 1980 when he's funny. Where do you find uh, your hair? Uh, well, they make it sound like I'm hunting. Um, it is, uh, I buy it from either a fabric store or there is a online, I buy it from JBS Hair. Right, the closest airport, you can choose either left field or BFW International. I think well feels a little bit closer, but we don't want to mark for where we are. Okay. Coming to Monster Camp, Mike? Your kid, Alan. Yeah. Why do most people prefer to buy house latex paint to the mixture rather than mixing the latex with the acrylics or the pros and cons? Um it's hard to get acrylics by the gallon, so it depends on how much paint you want. I don't. I want more than this much times three paint. I use a lot of paint, so a latex house paint. I buy a gallon of it, and I make three gallons of paint. Or a quart, and I make three quarts of paint. Funny at the mouth puppets. Every great paint. Is that liquid paints? No, this is clear silicone caulk number one. And right now, I can show everybody here how to do the hair on their mask. So, um, this is, I am looking at the mask, I decide how the hair kind of needs to go. Uh, I am, I'll have my hair kind of seam and join up, like right here. So, I'm tucking the end of the hair behind the horn. And then I'm laying this hair right into that bead of silicone. And I push on it so that it mushes through. So not only am I getting the adhesive bond of the silicone, but I also get kind of a mechanical bond as the silicone goes up into the hairs. I am working. And I'm just kind of pushing it around. Now this is a pretty big piece of hair, okay? I normally would say don't do pieces this big at once. But if you arrange your whole head, you, know, you might as well do it all in one way. And then once that's on, I don't abandon it. I come here, I look at it. Where is the silicone kind of popping up? I'm going to screw that out with my finger. All this, I'm going to push in, I'm going to work it in. I'm working it into that hair. It's right there where that bead is. Uh, hello, JLR538. Uh, right now, Alan's mask would be a witch doctor. Very cool. Uh, it, it could be a little witch doctor -y. It's got oh, them crazy it's hornos it's on it. Thank you so much for answering all of our questions. I'm sorry if they sound dumb. No, no, they don't sound dumb at all. 
we uh, I get a lot of questions and I just try to answer them. Um, I've been doing this long enough where a lot of the process for me is internalized, so I might not say something out loud that needs to be said. I might need a little reminder, hey, I don't know why you're doing that, and that helps me. It helps me be a better educator for this kind of stuff. So I am going to put a couple dashes of hair that just go this way on this. This is my first time hearing this sculpture, so I don't know exactly how this guy is going to go. So, by dashes, like this is, this hair is running this way, I'm running this hair this way, because when you view it at this angle, the, this hair is going to hide that seam, I think. I knew we were going to have some white hairs, I could tell. So I got more white hair yesterday. The face is good with her. What hair options are there? There's two drawers, three drawers behind you, all labeled hair. Start digging. Because this process, it, like this is the whole process. This is it. Is there another airbrush um, out No, but this one is so mobile because this hose is so long. Uh, and just that black, just dump it right back into the black and the container with it right there. Mike says, thanks for doing this. Well, like no problem. Okay. It says, my cake is seven bucks for 200 million. Okay. Alan, did you make those for us? Did you purchase them? Uh, these were purchased. These are elope horns, E-L-O-P-E, -E, elope. Uh, put in the word elope in eBay and horns after that, and you'll these guys will pop up. Um, uh, yes, you can actually take a little bit of that carburetor cleaner and spray it inside the bowl, and then shoot that out into a paper towel, and then just just flush it until it first. Whenever you're changing colors on the airbrush or painting it, just run it until it's empty. First, run it until it's empty. And then once it stops shooting anything out, that's when you pop the carburetor cleaner. And then you run the carburetor cleaner through the cleaner through until it's dry. And then, what do we call it? Brush there. Brush there. What's that? The airbrush hair. Yes. Airbrush. Yeah, you can change the color of it. Why? What you need? Uh, white hair turned blue, I think. Yep. Yeah, putting a little bit of blue color in there is good. Not unusual to be loved by anyone. Oh, well, thanks for hanging out with us there. Line foot four. Change axis. We want that guy. We do. So we have about an hour left of scheduled class time. I'm not going to kick anybody out, but we have an hour left of scheduled class time. And we would be past scheduled class time. And what that means is my wife will probably have a beverage. <laughs> he did not. What? She's going to die Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Jones had a TV show. Tom Jones. Hello, Munich. Cheers. 
Uh, I see the one question, honey, I want to answer it. I will tease this hair up, yes. Mm -hmm. I see hair, I tease it. I said, dang, hair, you're getting away or what? Me hair, me hair. Exactly. How many years did we work together as screens with you as a houseman? Uh, 2008 to 2000, whatever you, 2013. Yes. I was there one year before that. I showed up and ruined everything. <laughs> Fatal Fear says we're singing and soothing out. Well, that's because you you can turn it down <laughs> and you're in, you know, you're not in the same room as me. It would have been 2006, but Kelly called in sick. Okay. After, you know, before tonight, Karen. Called in brain damage. Yeah. Literally. Life sick. Okay, yes. So that hair is on. You know what? This almost has like a Hellboy feel. This looks like a Hellboy type well, of process. Like a, like a like I'm going to do a little bit of hair up here, too, because I want to. You're the closest person in the room to all the gloves. And the stick. Do you want gloves? <laughs> well, it's too late now. Well, it is too late now. I can tell you where the gloves were. Oh, Shane. That's right. You brought a note. She brought a note. It's okay. It's uh, one of the place. One of the place. Yep. I tell you guys. The cats are getting astray. On the when I, when I ran into the house a minute ago, Chaney had preceded me into the house, and he was in the kitchen, and he's got his nose up on the counter like, what's up there? I wonder what's up there. And then he looked at me like he was so busted because I walked in, but all that was up there was a bowl of salad. So I took the bowl of salad, I held it down, I let him smell, oh, it's left. <laughs> he don't want no salad. I have no doubt you'll be able to. I feel pretty good about that. Now this guy is going to cure, and then um, I will tease his hair up. It's on and teased up. Yeah. Get the ears to pop out. That looks so good. Well, you can also just run the hair behind here. Start up here. Move it down. I agree. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are you ready for hair? Yeah. But you can also paint it to yeah. be different colors too. You can hair chalk it. <laughs> so when we are. Yeah. Uh, it's in here and then it'd be like a mutton chop 
Mm -hmm. and you'll do two layers of that. Do one layer here. Hey, Anthony, we're, we've got a Krampus lab going today. Hey, Brian. Glad you joined us. Brian Lippert has a uh, Krampus mask. He bought a white Krampus. Riot Demon, the horns that using, uh, these are not the same ones that Rue made. Uh, these are, those are actually part of our order. So these are actually, uh, we had a big box of different horns for them to choose from. And part of Krampus Lab is they get to choose whatever, uh, whatever horns they want. So they got a lot of variety. Everybody's got some different ones and they can paint them and, and however they wanted to. So everybody can choose any different horns, the colors of LED eyes, the hair, everything else. Brian Lippert is on, who got a white, or he got a white Krampus. Hey, my Krampus brother. Ooh, Dale, I like that black hair. Now this this is good. And when when they're done, you're gonna do a have a class photo, so we'll just move stuff out from the behind the ear. Hey Edson. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do like that the mutton chop there and there. And then one that goes underneath there that she pulls like that. watch on YouTube a lot. Silicone and getting ready to do some hair. No, you, you let me work around you. I want to get your way. Man, I love that white hair. That looks so good. And Dale is doing some black hair. Which is going to look really cool. Take that, honey. Kim is getting wired up for her LED. Coffee too. Hey Cameron. Liana is airbrushing and Ryan is hearing. So everybody that you see here actually was has been here since nine o'clock this morning because we did an airbrush lab for six hours earlier today. And now we're got a Krampus lab afterwards, so we're doing we're doubling up. Alright, I'm going to go feed doggos. 
Okay. sometimes. Normally I use the clown blank for that. That's a lot of horn. Yeah. Almost a front section. Oh. Thank you. You really know how to make me sad. <laughs> it's my value add. was an elf. I use it mostly for Jack Frost. Oh, okay. I do Jack Frost with this one. Uh, so, I did a four horn to go a few months back, yes. Uh, thank you, you're very kind. Um, the mask that I started with was one that Big Dog actually sculpted, which is a, it is Krampus 2019 or 2020. Yeah, Krampus 2020. It's just been a while. It's been a 2020, hasn't it? No, no. If you, you forget, you're doomed it. to repeat it. Yeah, no one wants that. Mix up some paint for this Krampus. Oh, you're saying put some oh, right here? Yeah, I think if you run here, here, well, here, here, and here, yep. right under that drop, so keep these guys under there. So this, the furthest one out is going to hang right there, and you want that to hang down and hide the other. You have to go a little smaller on this one. Go right from here. Just that. That's all you want. Exactly. And then you do this one all the way under here. Then hang down on your leg. Uh -huh. What you waiting on? Uh, we're going to be doing this big helmet thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if I see it move forward with any hair or anything. So gonna... I would contact cement. Could not do that again. Go ahead and take your mask off the head form, run contact cement on the inside, and then run contact cement. What's that? Yeah. 
Yeah, those, those will only help. Yeah. And then contact cement your helmet so that's drying and ready to go. Stan, are you all covered up right now? I am. Is there not enough sand going around? Not okay. Brandon G, thank you very kindly for the super chat. Much appreciated, sir. Hope you are enjoying life. I'm going to start um, dry brushing this guy. I made plenty of this color so that I can add a little white to it for my second coat. That's how I normally do my uh, dry brushing, is I'll do my base color and then I will hit other coats on with other colors. Anybody need any help at any stage right now? Okay, I'm, I'm right here should you need me. Yes, yeah, he's the proud papa of the goat. I don't think he got to wear it enough. Did you? If you don't want to see the ribbons, you can pop the ribbons. You know, 2020 and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a base color that's on. I'm going to let that base color ride. I'll do one more coat of that base color, and I'll let it dry. not be having a wreck the hall show at dark hour unfortunately yeah. look at how this one is coming together that looks great
Yeah, yeah, I like how the horns are sitting on this one, too. Okay, we're going to move over here because we're about to do some wool. Don't prep a whole bunch. Just because it can get everywhere, you can lose it, you know what I mean? Um, things happen. So I, I just do a little bit at a time. I just squoze this. Okay, I'm switching out your clock. Calibus blank. Two people wanted the Calibus blank to make a compass out of, so we did. I'm just going to start here. I'm doing a line. That much. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get one. That's not a bad idea. Yep. Just do a little, it's better to do a little bit at a time than it is to do too much. Goodbye, Jekyll and Hyde. Okay, I have that Jekyll and Hyde. They have some cool stuff. I have a couple live videos where I make EDA foam helmets. Uh, and good evening, real simple things. Good evening to you. This is the Calibus blank right there. You don't see this one, but this is the LED witch blank, which is the same blank as that right there. And Dale has removed his, he's getting less hair on it. He's having to go back and do what you said. Yeah, well, I thought I could work around it. But it's it's too tough. Yeah. And try and do all that in one whack. 
you know, you're backfilling that seam. As long as there's enough in there, you're good. And Dale, I'm going to do the next run up here with you. Okay. Right here with Dale. The trick is to work it and touch it as little as possible. I'll do that next run under the chin. Okay. And everything there, that's all covered up by the next run. So don't even sweat it. You don't have to do that yet. Okay. Well, I got this kind of cheap cut. Yeah. Okay. You think that bead is? Yep. I can't do hard turns with the because the hair won't do a hard turn. So I can't do a hard turn with the cult, even though technically it's possible, the hair is all attached to itself. So this one I know I can just kind of go in the middle. And I just push, 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 push. It's gonna be about the hard turn. Yeah, the caulk had no problem going around that here. Working in, working in. Once it weasels up. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Thank you. And anything, once it cures, it's easy to peel off of the hair. So if you get a glob on there, let it relax, you know, and then you can fix it. Okay. And Kim Dot has my regular blank, and um, Dale has a small fit monster blank. I'm going to say, Dale, I think I like your paint. It's so striking. Thank you. It is very striking. What's funny is that Kim says Dale is colorblind. Red, and green, and these are mostly blues. Right. So, you know, do you know what color this. the teeth are? Green, because I had someone tell me which one it was. Okay. Well, it looks great. Very striking look. And this is another calibus blank. I might need a little assistance. Don't be scared. Hang on. Your head's about the same size as mine, right? Yeah, big melon. Do you mind if I try, if I do it? Because I can show, it's so hard to talk through the technique, you've got to like feel it. And now, see where the eyes are? Yep. Right between the eyes. I'm going to turn this guy like inside out. And now I have between the eyes. I'm just making sure the eyes light up. And now I can flip this back. And I know my eyes are good. Hi. Oh. That just makes so much sense. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're done. All right. Appreciate it. Don't overthink it. Don't put it, you know. Contact cement is cheap in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. You might as well put it everywhere, you know, and then wherever it sticks, it sticks. So it looks like there are little racial gears to pick this up. Like I don't like that racial. So I'll go pick it up and then pull it over and put it back down. And all this can be contact cemented too. Uh -huh. You didn't put any on here, I guess. I'm uh, not sure where exactly it's everything. Everything. Yeah. Cover the world in contact cement. Reminds me of the of Sherman Williams logo. Yeah. The most unecologically friendly logo out there. Like I pull up behind their trucks, it's literally the planet Earth Covered with a paint. red paint can just dousing it. It's like billions die. <laughs> yeah. Sherman sure. Williams. Sure.
cut this? Okay. I was also staggering them to go up. Use less. Use a little bit. A little bit. Stagger it that way. I, I'm going to dry brush on another layer. Hello, Scott Colehart. Thanks for the link. Appreciate it. This is that uh, blue color that I mixed up for my crown list. There's a whole drawer full of blades under the scissors. What are you box covering? Yeah. Oh, I need to just get this one little bit uh, off. I think they are doing good work. Uh, and it's a little weird that I'm doing like a live video during a lab, but you know, it's a little bit of the chaos is fine. Uh, that is very kind, Scott Colhart. Thanks for posting that. I appreciate it, sir. Okay, now I have him the right color. This is normally the mask I do Jack Frost out of, but I'm going to make it into a promise. This is Krampus Mask Lab that we smashed onto the back end of a um, airbrush lab because of the way light works. You're in for a penny, you're in for a pound, might as well. Thanks, wife. I think I'm caught up. For now, you're going to hang out with us? Yep, don't lose your face. Yeah, it's great doing a bit of live from the lab. It lets us see what the lab is like. Hey, you everyone's stuff. Thank you. Now, we can do a live from lab. It's not from a... Not a monster cam. Not I mean, it cuts three full dates. Like, yeah. you can't do that. You can see at least this one. Never can look at our... This is the most contained of any of the labs. So, guys, when we're done tonight, uh, we're going to do a class photo. Okay. To get a picture of everybody with their mask. Caracal wool, caracal, K-E-R-A-K-A-L, and it's uh, like that bag, right? $60. Bucks. So if you'll only use, yeah. you don't use a ton of it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. show you another trick. Okay. So what we're going to do is if, like normal we're going to figure out where we want to put it. I'm going to put some right here. I'm just going to do that much right now. Okay. Isn't Dale's coloring great? And now I'm going to put this on, just like normal. Except, don't put it down here. Put it there. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm working it in. Okay. Yeah. Cut this off. Now you can go see this works works in. So Brian, if you and you don't have that hard hair head. Okay. So now your seam is gone. You just have to not put it in right at the edge so you have room to cut this off. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay, I am at my batteries at five percent. I was running without a juicer, so uh, forgive me. The ghost has not yet been molded. It'll be molded this week coming up. My blank is the Jack Frost blank. Hair does a lot for the crumpus. Great. No, I haven't molded yet. We haven't had a chance. We were getting ready for class. But I will. I will, I will, I will. I'm going to add more white to my. Wait. I've only done the blue. Now I'm going to do the blue with white. Oh, thank you, Brandon. I didn't just that I was feeding the dogs. You did, yes. Yeah. Thank you. That hair really looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I like the discount. Push the side from the corners from the back. That's cool. Is this for the one? What's that? Yeah. So is that one. Okay. We're going to double add today. Do you think we're going to let a live show on Sunday? Uh, probably. Tomorrow. Probably. I have a lot of work to do in the shop tomorrow, so yeah. bring that up a little bit, and then I'll do another one with white here in a minute. But now I'm going to swap this guy. He'll dry over there, and I can tease the hair of this crump as I think it's dry enough. Yeah, but there, there is something to be said for it being like nice and smooth and straight. Uh, I kind of prefer the wild hair look. And Ian, who worked with me at Dark Hour for so long, uh, he really preferred the smoother hair. I just like it looking a little unkempt and wild. Uh, you can get real volume out of it. One side is just pretty smooth and mm -hmm. hangs down, and this is a little more wild. Yeah, cool. I like that. 
Alright. Nasal labial folds would cut it all the way up here, which is possible. So I would say yes. And that might actually work nicely. You lose a lot of real estate, but you know what you're gaining is that options. So do you want lights over? Oh, it's okay. You do that. <laughs> I'm actually uh, pretty capable with the like electronic stuff. So okay. I can always add lights. It's not really a good deal. Well, I'm just saying, if you put hair first, it would make it hard. But yeah. Yeah. I'm easy. I'm great. Table. Table. You doing blue? Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah. I think we're over here. Yeah, they are. They are hammer. Usually, like, when we got to, they're trying to say what it's so hard. When we, uh, when you guys got here this morning, you know, I had them all fixed off so that we could have the gate open and they didn't come out like they do. And, you know, when the gate was closed, they let them out. When you guys go, so this guy needs uh, gloss, and then he's done. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Makes a big difference. I like the fact that up top it's more teased, but there's some kind of structure I let order it, to it down the chops. Let it hang. Yeah. Yeah. I tease close, and then I let this hang down to give that flow in that direction. Okay. Yeah, it's so, Alan, for this, I've got these blue showing up here. Do you think there are any? I should try and put another piece of hair? No. We're going to airbrush it. And you just, once you tease it up a little bit and give it a little more body, we'll airbrush in between and you'll never know. Okay. Yeah. Woman. <laughs> You're gonna get a big old eye roll. Could you hip check me? This ain't hockey. To the board, wife. Oh boy, you're in the doghouse, the chateau to bow wow for you. You won't hit me for all these I shall. Are Michelle, he hip checked me. Oh, that's a good idea. Lisa would like to know have you ever thought of flocking the horns? Uh, I don't consider horns to be normally hairy. Maybe they're they're molting. <laughs> Happened to Mojo? Perhaps I was. Chateau de Bow Wow. That's right. I want you nice folks to really think that you know it's very harmonious. Truth is, there's going to be some hip checking. She yells me all the time. You're going to get it, too. To the boards! <laughs> I like him. I love him. I love that blue and that black. It's yum. Powerful. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of yum. Hey, Dale. Yes? I'm going to recommend you put on more hair. I want a dash of hair here. Hold on a few seconds. Okay. I'll put the bag in Yep, just Kim, watch your bag. Okay. He was, okay. He's in your bag. <laughs> uh, they might make almonds. I don't know. 
So will they get fluffier? I don't know. I mean, they're they're still they're fluffier than they were six months ago. So I suppose yes. I mean, I remember Stitch and Wendy and Ursa, and they were and Matt. Yeah. They're, they're, they're getting fluffier, so I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I think so. <laughs> yes. I'm going to get in so much trouble. You're being unfaithful. You are being unfaithful. No telling what the hell going to do. When you come to Monster Camp or a lab, this is part of the package, guys. There is much doggage. More doggage.
Under the eyes gets lost, the mouth gets lost. Yeah. And I've lost the forks too, why not? Oh, yeah. Penelope, you've been talking a lot about. About 8 o'clock, she's in a parade. It's Dune! I love it. Nice. Is that first one? Oh, okay. Blue? Warmonger, yes. All three are, are siblings. They're all from the same litter. Okay. Uh, there was three and Alan couldn't choose, so we brought them all three. <laughs> I recommend at least under the eyes and the lips being glossy. Okay. And you shoot that out, it'll be glossy. What color is it? The answer is glossy. Is that wet and you're spraying for gloss? No, this okay. is Liquitex Clear Gloss yeah, Varnish. Liquitex Clear Gloss Varnish. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to get your hood inside. Is it like, because the cat's skin? Yeah, I'm going to hard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so Chris correctly was each side to get them all riled up. This would come over and beat up its head one. It's those cats that are the root of all the problems. Oh, that's pretty far. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah, you can get your computer Yeah, I get longer wrap Yeah, you can just tie them together there. If it's one of the four of them, that will grow. But yeah, we were doing it this way for me. I streamlined the process as much as I could. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not complaining by any means. Yeah, that's just how it goes. We can simplify a little bit. Yes. She does. My wife made molasses cookies and they're delicious. On top of the what? other cookies, no. distortions? Yes. Yeah. I did not give any of those away as neighbors like I did the other. Uh, uh. The cam? These are right there. Yes. Are your horns dry? Uh, I don't know. I was snacking. Class is over in two minutes. No, this one is not dark. And this one is still shiny as well. Oh, I mean, not use a nail dryer. I'll it smooth you the teeth. Oh, I like it. I like it. A nail dryer. I'm not like Alan teasing. Now there's a lighter color on top and have a little bit that of That little fan on a table that they have for when you get a manicure. Oh, yeah. I get so many more manicures. No, but it. you could. It's not yeah. just a guy, a girl thing. I've I'm not saying you can. I'm just saying no, I had several well, manicures. Okay. I better have it. Do you want to, how wet are the floors? Are they still really damp? One is still pretty shiny, and this one is probably, you know, so tacky. How come you blew them on before you painted them? Because we spray painted them, and she was serenaded to get all of them out. Oh, yeah. Just, just be careful. Yeah. That's fine. I think it's okay. Do you want to go under a fan? Uh, yeah, a nail dryer. Uh, you only have a good way to put them up. They're so lightweight is the problem. There's no real good way to put them up. Um, yeah. You can start carrying your mask okay. um, up to that horn point. Yeah.
options. Called something different. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, 
Yeah. It's also just Saturday night. Yeah. In the country. Yeah, that's what Kat says. That actually starts in the book. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Okay. I would pump up some shadows on this. Uh, you also want to airbrush your hairline. You are right handed, it's all on this side. Um, watch this hairline.
Do you want to gloss under your eye and your mouth? Okay. Now, the other side of that is face will look drier and lips look wet. You have a point of contrast. I, if you want them to look dry, then I might not do the eyes. But just do that bottom lip. It's over here. I like that white, Kim. Uh, this, this stuff right here. Yeah. Just, just bring the head for him. This shoots. Let me just hit it. This is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. Do you want to cut off now? Uh, yes. Okay, so we will go ahead and cut off the live feed because we're in those last stages of uh, getting all the masks ready to go. A couple of them are mostly done, and uh, we're just going to press on. But we will do a couple of pictures at least to the Silk Beast page of the class photo of Krampuses. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. You guys are awesome. Everybody say goodnight. Good night. I say goodnight. Go make stuff. <laughs>